May the 5th, uh, our investigation began with an anonymous complaint of a resident in Brunswick that had multiple dogs in their home. Our uh, Animal Control Division responded, Officer Deborah Norris um, was able to make contact with uh, one of the two owners through conversations with her. Uh, initially there was some resistance. She was able to get a consent search. We came back on Thursday, May the 5th. Uh, we're able to remove from the home 95 dogs. Most of the dogs are Chihuahua Terrier mixes. Uh, they do range, uh, the, the vast majority of those dogs are five plus years of age. Of the 95 dogs we removed, one was in such poor condition after being examined by Buckystown Veterinary Hospital. Because of its health, of its age, it did have to be euthanized. There was a 96th dog that was remained in the house that we could not capture and we were able to retrieve that dog yesterday. Because they had never been outside and because the conditions inside the home were horrific, what has happened is we noticing we are noticing their personalities coming more evident as each day passes. The first several days in our shelter they were relatively quiet. We, we uh, determined that to be stress related They've always been inside this home, have not experienced anything in the outside world. So as they left that home and came to the Frederick County shelter, uh, they are obviously stressed. So as we progress each and every day, uh, we, have, we are noticing some improvements. Our hope and our desire is that the vast majority of these dogs will become either adoptable or be able to be placed with rescue organizations. We have several rescue organizations that have expressed interest in coming to the shelter and rescuing them. Uh, and obviously a, a, an influx of 96 dogs into our shelter hasn't quite doubled our shelter population, but it has had a tremendous impact. Officer Deborah Norris of Animal Control is uh, in the process of completing her investigation and in all likelihood charges are pending. Uh, we're not in a position to identify the owner or the specific charges until those charges uh, make it through the system. So. Uh, that's kind of an update. Uh, we do plan over the next several days to start processing. It's assessing their adoptability. Um, that should be happening uh, today, uh, Thursday and Friday, so that we can have some of the dogs that are uh, highly adoptable placed on our adoption floor. So citizens of our county, those that might be viewing this video, are able to see uh, some of the dogs in our shelter. And then if they have an interest in assisting us by adopting, finding them a good home, with the understanding that the venture that they are about to undertake is more labor intense because these dogs throughout their lifetime, whether they're six months old or six years old, have not experienced going outside. So house breaking, uh, dealing with those issues are, are going to be more than if you had adopted a puppy and have one or two accidents. Um, it, the undertaking, the person who adopts needs to understand uh, it's a uh, it's going to be a tremendous effort, but we also think their personality and disposition they they at a point of being housebroken and adapted to a family and interacting with a family uh, will provide a, a, a lifelong commitment of a, a better home for these dogs.